Hey guys, welcome back. It's not raining anymore. <laughs> and it didn't sound as bad on the other videos as I thought it did. I thought it was going to be super loud. So I'm glad you could still hear me. Okay, so I'm going to try and push through and get the majority of this ready to wash tonight because that takes the longest to dry. So the next thing I'm going to do is we're going to start on the cloth. And for the cloth on these guys, I need to get some of that inner cloth there. That's going to be the underside and the tunics. And then on these guys, same thing. I have some trousers under there and some undershirt material. So I'm going to do that first. And looking at the concept art, it is a brown color. I could probably just use the pallid bone. That's actually a really nice color when it dries. I'm quite happy with, with how that comes out when it dries. So I could use that because I'm going to highlight this up lighter. And so the, the trousers wouldn't be the same sort of color. But I'm going to try using some of their soft tone quick shade. This will also work. This came out before their speed paints were out. And let's see. Let's see what that looks like. And if it doesn't dry quite the way that I want it to, then I'll actually go back in with the pallid bone. Okay, so we're going to start. I just want to see what it's going to look like on his pants. So you can see it's a, it's still a brown color, but it's not as gold toned as that one. It's more of a, uh, of a neutral brown. And we'll see what it's like when it dries. I think it's going to dry really, really light. And I don't know that I want it to be quite that light, but... I can always go over it with a darker color. Okay. We'll see. I have a feeling that this is going to dry lighter than what I want it to. But we'll give it a go and see. So, pants, undershirts, I will do the rest of them and show you what this looks like when they're all done. <laughs> 